I know it's kind of hard to see, but there's a line right here where some of the pixels, something's not running, I guess. That purple, so I'm guessing green is not working, maybe. Let me see it better when white letters, yeah. So it starts here. And looks like it goes all the way to the bottom. So not a big deal, but you know, it's it's it kind of stinks. So let me try and just fix this real quick here. I'm just gonna. I think it's. Oh, did you want to see how I did that? Hi, welcome to Can of Spader Christmas. All right, today I'm going to tackle the panel problem in the P10 sign. Best I can tell, the, some of the green LEDs are out in at least one of the panels. I thought I had seen more LEDs out than I'm seeing right now. Um, I could just replace the one bad panel with another P10 panel, um, but I didn't have any and you run the risk of having slightly different colors when you uh, you know you have different age panels or from different manufacturers or something like that uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and replace all four panels with P5 panels so instead of 10 millimeter spacing between each LED it will be five millimeters so more dense so let's take this apart and swap these panels out it should be a matter of just lifting the old ones out and putting the new ones in. Those of you with a keen eye might notice the small network switch I have inside here. This BeagleBone doesn't have Wi-Fi, so the E131 data and my network connection go through the switch. It's all on the show network, so it won't interfere with my home network. The connectors on the P5 panels are the same as the P10 panels, so it makes for an easy swap. The data connectors are keyed, so they only go in one way. Unless you push really hard. At this point, it's time to fire up the sign uh, make an adjustment for the new panels, then update and upload the sequences. On Falcon Player, I went to the Input Output Setup, chose Channel Outputs, hit the LED Panels tab, and notice the channel count for the P10s is 6144. I changed the single panel size from 32 by 16 1 8 scan to 64 by 32 1 16 scan. The channel count jumps up to 24,576. Press save. And restart FPPD. Over in X lights, I have the matrix model selected. I'll change the number of strings from 16 to 32 and the nodes per string from 128 to 256 because there's four panels across. Hit save. I'll open a sequence. This will flash the globe blue. Then all I have to do is re-render by pressing save. And we should be good to go. Back on Falcon Player, go to Content Setup, File Manager, select Files, Message Blue FSEQ, close it, back to the status page, hit play. Huh, it's pretty. Lots of colors. 
Not what I expected. Well, it turns out that back on January 9th, Dan added support for the new V2 FSEQ file format. What the heck is a V2 FSEQ file format? Compression. The V2 files are about 10% the size of V1 files, and the default setting for X lights now is to output V2 files. I actually figured this out uh, at one of the after hour sessions at Expo. Uh, somebody was complimenting Keith for adding the new file stuff, and he said, no, Dan added all the V2 FSEQ stuff. And I went, ho, 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 time, time. The what? If you go up to the settings menu in X Lights and you go to the bottom of the menu, there is an FSEQ version option and you have your choice of V1 or V2. So if you have an older version of Falcon Player, you need to change it to V1. But by default, V2 is checked. So if I save it as a V1 file, upload that and play it, it works just fine. The other option is to upgrade to a later version of Falcon Player. Now, as of this video, version 3.0 is the latest version. It's based on the new Debian Buster operating system. Just get whatever the latest release is. There will likely be updates in the future. Scroll down until you find the images. There is an image for the Pi and one for the Beagle Bones. Buster is also the new operating system needed for the Raspberry Pi 4 if you get one of those. I'm running the Catalina Beta operating system on my Mac, which doesn't play very well with Etcher. So I'm using Win32 Disk Imager on a PC to write the image to an SD card. I have both the BeagleBone image and the Pi image that I'll do later. Hit open. This is my SD card. Hit write. Scary warning about messing up a drive. Hit yes. And enjoy the lovely music as I speed up the video. Write successful. Hit OK. This is coming from my router. Uh, this is connected into the BeagleBone. So the BeagleBone is connected to my home network on the internet. I have the card that we just formatted in there. I will plug in the... The other end of this cable is not connected, so I'll plug the USB cable in. Which way does it go? This way. Okay, so now this is the really tricky part. So there, there are four LEDs here. There's a power LED, I believe, over here. There are two switches here. Forget about those switches. This switch is the boot switch. And so this is the one you need to hold down when you apply power so that it'll boot from this card. And what I do is I can't hear that but I click this a couple of times to make sure that I'm actually holding it down I'm using my fingernail to hold it down and now I'm going to apply power and keep holding it until we see the lights start to flash so all four lights will come on they will go off and then the boot process will start and then we'll release it so there we go they're flashing now we can release so this is starting up and loading the image. It takes a couple of minutes to uh, get started and we'll go over to the computer and we will try to connect to it over our network. On your computer, open a web browser to the IP address of the BeagleBone and you should see something that looks like this. There's a message asking if I want to expand the file system on the SD card, but I'm going to just load the image into the EMMC so I don't need to expand the SD card. 
go to FPP settings and click advanced settings. And there's two options here. This one is for a compressed file system. This one is a standard uncompressed file system. Uncompressed should be fine for most, so I'll use that one. This will take a while to copy the image, so you get a warning about that. Press yes, and it will start the copy process. You will see the output of the copy, and you can either scroll along with it while it's running, or just wait until the little Cylon lights stop and the beagle bone shuts down. When the process has finished, it will say done flashing EMMC powering down at the bottom of the page. You can remove power from the beagle bone and remove the SD card, then power it back up. When it comes back up, you may notice you don't have any of your playlists available. Go back into FPP settings and next to storage device, choose your USB stick that has all of your settings, playlists, and sequences on it. Now, if you don't have a USB stick inserted, you won't see that option. Since I have files on there already, I'll choose Don't Format, and I'm not going to copy files to the new location, so I'll press No. It says to reboot, so I'll hit Reboot. OK. And when that comes back up, we should be ready to go. Back up, we now see our playlists. Well, let's go back to the V1 playlist and see if that still works. Hit play. That's a good sign. No pun intended. Version 1 still works. I'll stop that and change to a version 2 file. Hit play. Another good sign. No pun intended. Version 2 works. These are the same sequence except for the color of the flashing globe. So message red is a V1 file at 52.64 meg and message blue is a V2 file at 2.4 meg. So quite a significant difference in file sizes for this sequence. So there it is. I changed out the P10 panels for P5 panels, made some adjustments and I got the sign working again. Um, I still need to make some tweaks to the sequences, mainly font changes. Uh, since the sign is denser now, uh, I can use lowercase letters or, or just different letters altogether. Um, but I think I can button this up now. I hope you found some of that information useful. As always, if you have any questions, leave them below. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Now, I shot an email. Uh, so I got six of these, and so they. I got five of these when I started relaxing a little bit, and then BAM!